Hello, Principal Nadziwe and the entire Lansing Public School Board. Thank you for clicking on my video today. I would like to discuss some problems of inequity and accessibility in my classroom. I work in the resource room at Lyons Public High School where we support students with cognitive, physical, and learning disabilities. The disabled community has suffered from inequitable opportunities for many years, but following the Universal Design for Learning, I would like to change that. So inequitable opportunities for students can cause low self-esteem, low testing scores, and an overall disinterest in learning. These barriers for students with disabilities can be accommodated by all types of technology. And when we usually think of technology, we think about the iPads and Chromebooks in the classrooms, but I'd like to focus on two types of low assistive technology that we use every day, doorknobs and stairs. The round shaped doorknobs that we see in large public buildings can often be difficult for someone who uses a wheelchair or even someone who has low muscle density to get access to the building. Similarly, a set of stairs for a person with a disability can be very difficult or even impossible for wheelchair users. Our school has only one accessible entrance in the front of the building but the resource room is all the way at the back of the building. So some students end up arriving late due to having to go all the way around the building to enter our classroom. Unfair challenges like these cause students with disabilities to develop low self-worth that may hinder their learning and their overall quality of life. I propose that we change all doorknobs to door levers and insert three more accessible ramps to the school in each corner of the building, making four accessible ramps total. These accommodations will make it easier for my students to arrive class on time and ready to learn. By following the universal design for learning, the data shows us that these changes can benefit all students and not just students with disabilities. I appreciate you clicking on this video today and thank you for your time.